Hey, what's up, Tyrell? It's Comlocks, and welcome to another bi monthly visit from Barogatir. And yeah, today it is on PC, as usual. He is on Lorunda Relay on Mercury, and yeah, this is the 87th rotation, I believe. So let's get right into it. So, right off the bat, we have the Odinata Elixis skin, uh, which is really cool because this is the second, technically, I think, the second Elixis skin that's ever been put out by Rogatir. I think the first one is a Redeemer Elixir skin. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, it's 350 ducats and 250k uh, credits, and it looks pretty cool. Um, Odinata is my one of my top two uh, arc wings to use, just because Odinata is like so balanced. You can like uh, you can double you can double buff uh, damage, I believe, and I really like its uh, number three, which is missiles, I think. Um, but yeah, this looks really cool. Um, I still haven't figured out the aesthetic of what the elixir skin is, but it follows this interesting, like, two-triangle, double-sided pattern. Um, but yeah, um, that is the elixir skin, looks really cool. And along with that, um, just to, I guess it's kind of in theme, but we have the a Noggle statue with, uh, it's Excalibur with Odinata, and that's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of the reveal that they did a few years ago for Arcwing. Um, it's just cool if you want to decorate your orbiter with Arcwing. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, and so we have primed mods returning this time. We have the primed rifle ammo muta uh, mutation, primed shotgun ammo mutation, primed regen, and primed fever strike. So right off the bat, I know exactly which one I'm going to recommend. Just go straight for prime fever strike because it's going to help you with all of your corrosive and armor strip builds and gas, I believe. Uh, yeah, this is first hand, get this first. Um, second to that, um, if you are using either shotguns or some rifles that are really heavy and lacking in the ammo department, uh, either of these two, these would be like second priority, and then primed regen, if you're like a heavy sentinel user, uh, get that last. Um, if you recognize, I never say n completely no to everything because I feel like, um, uh, I, I think, depending on the type of player you are, you know, like, like all these types of things have a priority to it, so, um, you know, if you're heavily into cosmetics, definitely go for it, and, and, and whatnot. But yeah, the next thing, we have the Mardetrin, which is the Corpus Handheld Shotgun, I believe. Um, you know, I can't, I don't remember the last time I used this weapon, but I wasn't disappointed. Um, I think I was just going through a lot of weapons at the time and just getting mastery rank. But I actually like this weapon, and uh, I don't know if I got a buff. Um, but let's take a quick look just to see. It's a mastery rank 9 weapon, uh, critical chance 8. Hmm. Okay, so this is mainly a status weapon because I'm looking at. I'm trying to see what's the dominant stat here, and just right off the bat, I see status 32%. It makes sense because it's the shotgun, so um, the pelt spread is going to help proc all that damage. But, um. I can't make a I can't make an opinion on this yet, but I will get back to this by the time I get to the end of this review. Um, we have the EOS Prime armor set that's returning, which is good. I think you do save. I'm not sure. Hold on, 125. That's 190, 240. Actually, yeah, you, you might as well just buy it in a set. It's the same price, <laughs> even buying it separate. No, is it? I don't know. 190. No, I'm just gonna get just get it in a set. If you don't have it, just get it. <laughs> um, if you're into cosmetics, um, let's see what we have. We have the Prisma Daedalus chest plate. That's kind of odd. It's like they brought like one whole set of armor, but then it's like we'll give you one piece of a chest set that's part of a whole set. That's weird. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have the Kubro Nexus Fur Pattern returning. Um, if you're into Kubros and you need something extra to fashion frame with, get that. <laughs> uh, we have the Corrupted Bombard Spectre Blueprint. Uh, I'm not a really, I'm not a heavy Spectre user, but I will say the very few times I've used Spectres, um, I do recommend this if you are choosing to use a Spectre. Definitely bring a Bombard Spectre because. You know, just like in PvE, uh, Bombards are pretty hard to take down, and, you know, having one of these handy in, like, a really 
I would say like maybe like in a high like long endurance run or survival run, these guys would be really helpful. They can tank. The armor is crazy. Um, but I believe this kind of scales to your. I'm not sure if this scales, but if anyone can confirm, how does the specter stats scale? Because I actually do not know. Um, but yes, I do recommend that for if you're a solo player as well. Uh, we have the 10 Kutir Fireworks, 10x in a pack. A Bombastic Symphony of Color. I think this may... I'm not sure, is, does it reflect your energy color at all? Or is it just like a, a color that's kind of tied to the uh, Kutir scheme? I haven't used it yet, though. No. Um, but yeah, um, definitely <laughs> don't get this. if Unless you have ducats to spit out, go for it. And Sands of Inara's Blueprint. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty interesting... There's some good stuff to get here, I think, you know, out of this 87th rotation. So definitely right off the bat, um, Prime Fever Strike, uh, and then your Primed Mutation Ammo. I know it's not favored by like, a lot of players, but I still say it's useful because I, 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 I use the weapon like the comb that like eats ammo, like, like that eats the ammo, ammo, Jesus, <laughs> eats ammo eats the ammo pool like extremely quick and uh, this is extremely useful so yes um, either the mutations and then if you're a heavy pr uh, heavy sentinel user go for prime regen um, now that I'm thinking about it I do like this weapon a lot um, some people like to see a high crit number sometimes and they think you know that determines oh that's a good weapon because it has high crit chance um, but I think that's highly subjective but I think this is good because I, I've been starting to like status weapons in like the last year of playing. So I want to say yes, go get this. This is a really cool alternative to the normal Dutron. I might even do a, 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 a review video on it. Um, because it's, I think it's a unique weapon in its own right. Um, so yes, so yes to the Mara Detrin. Uh Eos Prime armor set. I don't, I don't hate this armor set. I don't necessarily like it. Oh, like it's not like the greatest. I think I, it looks cool. I like how it has like that prisma effect, like that that translucent void energy. I do like it, but it's like out of all the like cosmetics I have, this kind of stands like in like the middle tier of like of hotness, you know. But <laughs> I don't know. Um, like I said, I, I, I would save cosmetics for last, but that's just my opinion. It kind of stands in the middle of, like, the cool factor for me. <laughs> or, like, hotness factor. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Um, Prisma Daedalus uh, set. Um, like I said, if you don't have it, you should save it for last. Unless you have everything else. Uh, Kubro. Eh. I mean, the Nexus for a pattern looks cool. Um, but if you happen to be one of that very small percentage of people who have a Lotus Kubro, that's, I, I would, yeah, I wouldn't even get this. <laughs> but that's not likely, so, um, it's a nice alternative. Uh, Corrupted Bombard, uh, like I said, yes, but if you're a solo player. Uh, Katir Fireworks, no, don't waste your ducats on that. And, uh, Sands of Inaros, don't have to say much. If you don't have Inaros, go for it. If not, um... Just don't waste your ducats. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is has this is the eighty seventh rotation of Barokatir. And yeah, if you have found this video useful and informative and you like it and if there's anything I can do to improve on my presentation, or if you like what I'm doing now, uh, please let me know. Any comments I will always take to heart and I will always take your suggestions and always put them into thought. So I really do appreciate for the people who do give a thought. Um, but yeah, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you, and I'll see you, Tenno, in the next video. Later, guys.